<laughs> Hello, my beautiful YouTube herd. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, actually. I've been dabbling in digital art for a really long time now, but up until this point, I hadn't really thought of putting it on my equestrian YouTube channel, even though horses are one of the main things I really enjoy painting. I thought maybe today you guys might enjoy watching me paint this picture of a Suffolk punch horse, and while you're watching me paint, I thought maybe I would tell you a few cool facts that I found on the internet about them. If you like this kind of thing, and maybe you want to see more stuff like this on my channel in the future, be sure to leave me a comment down below and tell me, because I actually have quite a few of these paintings that I would love to share with you guys if you enjoy this kind of content. Now getting into some really cool stuff I found about the Suffolk Punch horse on the internet. Um, I didn't know that the Suffolk Punch is actually the oldest native horse breed in the entirety of Britain, and apparently it is thought to be the least known European breed of America. The reason they are so little known is unfortunately because they're actually considered critically endangered as a breed by the UK's Rare Breed Survival Trust and the American Livestock Breeds Conservancy. Apparently, there are only about 300 Suffolk Punch horses left in the entire UK, and on average, only about 30 or 40 foals are born each year, so that number is steadily declining, unfortunately, even though these horses are so beautiful and have a very rich history. These lovable giants have been used across the centuries as workhorses, pulling plows, and helping farmers to farm their fields, all the way up to cavalry horses and horses used in the army to pull heavy loads. Outside of their native region of Suffolk in England, they actually gained a bunch of popularity in Pakistan, where they were used as war horses for the army back during World War I. The sweet, docile nature of these horses, as well as their ability to carry really heavy loads, and their ready-to-work personalities made them excellent for that kind of work. However, that did unfortunately mean that thousands and thousands of these beautiful creatures lost their lives during the war. People who are lucky enough to know a Suffolk Punch often characterize them as noble, kind, willing and adaptable, and surprisingly, for a cold-blooded breed, active. Their active nature and willingness to learn and to work has really earned these guys a strong place in the hearts of many horse lovers. It's quite possible that their kindness and willingness to move comes from their bloodlines in Arabians, thoroughbreds, and Maramano horses, also, the Anglo-Arab was one of the founding breeds of the Suffolk Punch Horse. Maybe because of these bloodlines as well, they are also actually the smallest draft horses in the entire world, despite their power and strength. Where a typical draft horse usually stands well over 17 hands, the Suffolk Punch usually stands about 15-2 to 16-2 hands, Although some of them can grow up to 17 hands, it's quite uncommon. As well as a rather restrictive height range, Suffolk Punches also only come in one singular color, and that is chestnut. Although they do vary in shades of chestnut from bright golden to deep leather chestnut, they don't usually have very many markings or come in any other color. Suffolk punches are hardy and steady, and it's actually said that they are super excellent horses for beginners. Besides being excellent farm horses, they are exceptional riding horses, particularly for people who are beginners or have never ever ridden a horse before. Um, in fact, I think the most difficult part of riding a Suffolk punch would be probably be doing the splits over their big fat bodies as you ride the horse. They're said to be bomb-proof and calm and very reliable pleasure horses. Apparently, they don't normally spook and are very trainable and reserved, 
which is something every new rider would definitely appreciate. I've heard if you have to compare a Suffolk Punch horse's personality to that of a certain breed of dog, a lot of comparisons could be drawn to a golden retriever or a lab. It's said that Suffolk Punches are very interested in pleasing their people and doing right by them, and that is one of the things that makes them very trainable and very easygoing and great to handle. Well, my herd, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Keep in mind that it helps our horses to work off of pressure and release, and it would help this channel if you pressed and released that like, comment, and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you get notified when I get new videos. And until next time, bye guys.